Today we're in Canby, Oregon for Pets for Cruising. That's right, baby. Over 700 classic cars. Of course, we're here for the pre-65s. We'll be checking out a few others along the way to see what this event is all about. It's lean, it's mean, and it's green, Lola. It's all those things. I don't know if it's mean. It's, nice. it, it's mean. That thing will take you off. Lola saw the pretty ride. Yeah, oh, like got your air conditioner on the side. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like they got some people snuck in the back seat. Oh my goodness. Wow, yeah. This SoCal car is right here, baby. Look at the quality of that. You don't see that you don't see that up here a lot in Oregon. That's a nice ride, Mr. Blue. Plymouth power here. I assume this is your ride. Yeah, this is mine. <laughs> How long have you had this? Well, 50 years. 50 years? Yeah. Well, you're the second guy with a car that long. They don't make them like that anymore. No, they don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm only the third owner, too. Oh, really? Yeah, the guy that I got it from was an old friend. 50 years ago, I needed a car. And... It was amazing. I don't see them with, like, this, these handles very often anymore. Well, either. this was the special deluxe. Okay. Uh, they, the special deluxe had the wood grain uh, mm -hmm. paneling in there, the sun visor, the doors. Is the, is the drive frame any different? No, not really. It's called a P20 model. So it was the top of the line sedan. It was more of all the accessories. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like that. Well, you've had it for 50 years. Was this the original color? The engine compartment has the original Salvador blue oh, okay. Plymouth color. Uh, I went down to Monty Shelton and bought some uh, Silver Shadow. Mm -hmm. Rolls Royce paint, <laughs> dolled it up a little with yeah. the paint, but that's the only thing that's not stock on it. Well, I think I think this lady right here would love to roll around. Yeah, it, right? this is a pretty car for sure. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah, it's a cruiser. Yeah, it just runs like crazy. It sounds like you get it out there more often than not. Yeah, right yeah. It, uh, you can let it sit for six months, starts up, and off she goes. I don't know if that's what's happening at the flight school. But <laughs> a different kind we of flight. Know. We don't know. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many of these classic caddies I see, I'm still gonna stop for every single one. Amazing. Just amazing. Is cute, which I mean, obviously, Come on, it's a but if you look inside there, there's a little ukulele. That's I was, painted to I match. was more into the scallops, but I'll check out the ukulele. <laughs> well, the first. ukulele has scallops. The ukulele has scallops? Yes. What? Okay, I gotta see this one. Oh my gosh, the ukulele does have scallops. Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> Even the ukulele's custom culture on this bad boy. <laughs> This lady's smiling over here. I think this is your ride, isn't it? Both of them. Both of them? 
This is amazing. How long have you had this? Oh my gosh, he's probably had this for five years or five so. Five years, okay. Yeah. Long enough. Did it yeah. did it come like this? Did you no. paint it yourself? No, he did. My husband did everything. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I love it. The scallops and everything. And then yep. the, the ukulele is a nice touch. Come yes. On. yes. I mean, we all know it's a great ride. Is it, do you know if it's original drivetrain? No. Well, yes, actually, I think everything everything is pretty much original. He just all put it stock? on bags and wow. dropped it. Yeah. have to catch this guy. It's a pretty car. I like it. Yeah. I love it. Look at this. He, did he shave the tail lights himself? Oh wow. That is nice. The more I look at it, the more I like it. This thing is great. Oh, what did we do back here? Oh, he begged it. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. <laughs> See, in Oregon, you're not supposed to pump your own gas. So they just changed the rules, but I bet it was a lot of fun trying to explain to them how to fill this tank. Oh, yeah. You're like, okay, you yes. got to open the back, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you, we would break the rules, right? And you would take the, the from him and put it in yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What did he add then? Mercury power, baby. Center Lane 500. And that interior looks original. If it's not, someone's done an amazing job. That is pretty impressive. Yeah, I like the interior. Wow. I love it. This is what you get in the Pacific Northwest, though, because we get so much rain and cloud cover most of the time that the interiors on our rides stay really nice, and we don't get the rust like the Midwest does. We're like the the, uh, the desert. The body stay really nice, but then the interiors rot on oh, from the sun. sun. Oh, okay. Well, I like the sun. I'm not I love the sun too, but it doesn't do good things sun. to the interior. No. How are you today, fine sir? I'm fine, thank you. And hey, what is your name? Roger. Where are you from, Roger? Right here in Canby. Right here in Canby. I know I've seen this ride before, but you usually have a mob of people around it. Oh. So yes. what have we got here? This is a 1969 Pontiac ambulance. Wow. It's built by an ambulance company using the basic parts of a 69 Pontiac, and then they added the fiberglass top, all the interior parts. Yeah. So how did you get a hold of this? Um, <laughs> I I have a I sell a product for fixing rust called okay. Rust Doctor. You are the rust doctor. Right. <laughs> and I kept thinking, I need some I was in, in a parade, I had a Mustang, I was in a parade and I thought I need something that I could use with my business. So I found it in uh, Phoenix area in Arizona, but it originally came from New York and it worked its way country across the country from the big cotton cities to smaller cities to eventually in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And, and now it's in Canby, Oregon. Now it's in Canby. <laughs> they used it at the Bonneville Salt Flats for the time trials. Wow. That was the emergency vehicle there. Well, this is amazing, man. Yeah. Thanks so much for bringing it. Uh-huh. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, this is the original motor. Yeah, it's, it's wow. I love it that. Is. And it looks like the original paint as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it's an original car. So how many original miles you said? Thirty-nine thousand. Wow. Thirty-nine thousand. Wow. Even the rims match. Maybe just the family. This this wagon didn't get as much ranch as some of the Canyon, other ones. Yeah. That's why it's yeah. still around. The annual family well, and it, the Grand Canyon. And it spent its time. You know, it came originally from Bend, and it was in Grants Pass, and then it was in Eastern Washington. Oh, okay. So, so it, it, it dry people, climate caused. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize uh, uh, that uh, Eastern Oregon is 100% high desert. So there you go. 
she's a pretty car. She puts out 210 horsepower. And, uh, it's got the original transmission. Oh yeah, everything's original. Oh wow, uh, yeah. I, I love the shifter. Running gear, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Very minimalist. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> and look at that. Yeah, look at that wall attached. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How long have you how long have you had this? About uh, 55 years. You've had only 55 years, that's all? <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah, it was my is first this, car. Is this the original paint color and everything? Uh, it was old English white, which is kind of a cream color. Yeah, yeah. And when I bought the car, the car had been painted like, like that with uh, Earl Schwab. Uh, paint job, you know, They'll pay any car paint. for ninety nine yeah. ninety five. It wasn't a bad paint job. <laughs> the, the vinyl seat tires. covers. But yes, I went. Ahead. I went ahead and uh, well, everything will get painted. Yeah, that's right. Yep, uh, <laughs> stripped it down to bare metal. It was painted three times. I love but it. Uh, Jim Killiam, I had him paint it. And uh, and you got he, the original drivetrain in here. It oh, looks like. Oh yes. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I noticed when I was walking by. I, I don't see too many of these going around anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a good it engine. Wow. Seven mains, dual carburetors, dual exhaust, double overhead. Is, is this a six volt? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Negative ground now. Negative it was ground. positive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't see too many of these Jags running around at the pre sixty five shows. But, yeah. So thanks for bringing it, man. Well, it uh, there's probably not very many of these around because the cars uh, rusted out really fast. And <laughs> Especially like in the Midwest. Here, this would rust out on the rear fenders. That's a piece of brass round sock inside there. Mm -hmm. That would rust out. So you throw the fenders away, you get the interior wet, the floor go away. And uh, back then they were. Uh, no, those are just running like. I got my, my little eye. Let's do the back here. Baker pickup, baby. That's clean. Well, I knew I'd be getting her kind of I think I was over here. I've been shooting this video for about two hours, thought I was about halfway done, and then of course I found a whole other parking lot off to the side with more rides. Well, I don't normally shoot muscle cars. They're pretty impressive, and they're out here today in force. Chrysler Imperial hiding all back of the bus. Pretty in silver. Um, it's got some sparkle in the paint. Great interior, but take a look at this nice little caddy. Mm -hmm. Definitely a Lola car. Yeah, it's a Lola car. It's gorgeous. You just love them for the fins for days. I do, and I feel like I would look good in this car. Do you call this Black Betty? No, sorry, don't call it Black Betty. <laughs> Does it have a name? No. No. You have to have it. This car's amazing. We just call it the 34. You just call it the 34. Yeah. I see. All right. Call, call them ladies by their age. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, can't and, do that. And that's always a good thing. <laughs> that's always the truth is always the best effort. You can't deny Lola that you go very well with this cab over. Oh, I do. I look quite 
and then you notice there's another one next to it. That's, that would make sense. I bet you they brought it here on the cab over. Very pretty. So, so the, this is his and hers. Right. So which one is yours? Mine's the 39 GMC. Yours is the, the cab over. The cab over. All right. And you guys follow each other here today. Right. So we'll sure that neither one right of them now. was a trailer queen. No. They both got driven. Did you ride on the freeway deciding who's going to be first? Roads from the Pendle area. Pretty dry. Yeah. I love it. Those are some nice rides, man. Yeah. What color is this thing? There we go. Yeah, it's clean. So, anyway. No, it was really good. That works. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hot and cold. Little Harley Davidson car. I believe you guys had this one uh, last year over there, right? This is great. It's, it's like a champagne Lola. <laughs> it is a beautiful color, but Duke does not know what matches. Now we need to find it. International? Well, that's a big ride, too. <laughs> Someone put a lot of work in this car. Right when I thought I'd lost all hope there would be a gasser here, I finally found one. I saw that. Do you drag this? Not really. I've raced it one time and <laughs> only when the clutch was slipping. Oh and, no, uh, you don't want that going The shifter on. was messed up and it had a killer vibration and it ran 1120. Oh wow. So now that I got the clutch in it and we're battling an oil leak right now, but mm -hmm. it, it should be a nine second car. It's a nice ride. I, like I said, 700 rides here. This is the first gas ride I've seen all day. Yeah, it's 820 horsepower. I rolled this car the first day I got her running. <laughs> 820 horsepower. Oh yeah, this thing is this thing is a beast. So if you look at the roof, you can see how this thing's been on its top. Oh wow! So that's when you rolled it, right after you got the the motor put in it, you rolled it. Wow. Okay. But it all kind of adds to everything, you know. There we are. So. I like this though. Real oh, yeah. cars don't shift themselves, baby. <laughs> yep, that's it. I love how high the Dodge rides. Like you could go four wheeling in this bad way. This thing's crazy, like how high it was up. But that was probably stock, because when these things were out, there have been a lot of dirt roads back then. Tiny one on the back. Lola is definitely a fan of black and white. Yeah, I mean, this is actually kind of a nice cream. Color. I like it actually, this is clean. Yeah. Clean like ice cream, baby. Look at that. Even the interior's OG. I didn't put one of those modern steering wheels on it. I love this. This is a nice ride. Well, thank you very much. It looks like it's all original. It is. It is? I'll say, usually I see them, like, they put a fancy new uh, steering wheel in them, and then they slam some modern rims on them. And new engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this is the real deal. Well, this is a Ford motor in it too, right? Oh, that's the original motor. I love that. Uh, it's a 239 flathead V8. Okay, all right. I, I say in my little thing, this is a truck like Grandpa drove. 
<laughs> That's what it looks like. Right? Yeah. I love this one. This is it's clean. So shiny. Thank you. What's better than a classic T-Bird? But then a whole row of classic t -bird. My buy for six states will give me a discount on the spidey. Say that you think it's cute. It's cute. I like the I would color. I would never guess, Lola, that it's you would like to see the Baker Lark. Butter yellow. I say sarcastically. <laughs> if this thing was black and white with some scallops on it, well, that would be like straight very, up custom. But here's the thing: shave the sides. So, this thing is amazing as I it like is. This I'm color. just saying. Yeah, I like the butter yellow. This Pretty. isn't right. I see very often at car shows at all. I almost oh. walked right by it. Ooh, the, uh, pretty. Pontiac. Yeah. Look at that color. There was one of these That's in the Austin when we were there. The I, two are. Oh, I love that green. Yeah. There are cars on these back streets. Sunliner baby. Oh my gosh. One of the prettiest rides ever released. Before Ford went and ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're terrible these days, aren't they? <laughs> Which, is this yours? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. I love it. What year is this? 72. 72? That's my birthday. Oh, there you go. I gotta have it, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I love the, the seafoam green, also one of my wife's favorite colors. Yeah. That's amazing. How long have you had it? Oh, I finished it a couple years ago, but oh, okay. I had it probably seven years. Seven years, okay. So it wasn't in the shape when you got it. No, obviously. no, no. I redid it all. Yeah. Okay, wow. Was this the original color scheme? No, no. This is like a 95 Ford pickup color. Oh, really? I like it. It looked 70s. Yeah. 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 That's great. You even redid the interior and everything. Did everything. Right did, down to the bare frame. Did you keep the drive chain Ford? Oh, yeah. That's all original. Okay. That, that's yeah. what we're talking about here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A little bit better than the new ones. A little better. At least I hope. <laughs> No, the, the, when it came out with the new ones, I was kind of like, I'm kind of interested. And then it took about two articles, and I was like, I'm done. So this is your tribute to a legend. Yes. Amazing. This car was built in San Jose in 1961. Oh, wow. That's when the top was chopped and all the bodywork and stuff. And then it was redone in Bend area in 12, okay. 2012. Mm -hmm. I got it right before COVID and it still had a six cylinder three speed in it. Oh, nice. So I changed the engine, transmission, rear end, 
put height super right, power rack and pinion, disc brakes, air conditioning, rewired it, nothing major. <laughs> so but you, it's a nice ride. Oh, it drives great. Yeah. Do, do you get it on the road very often? Oh, yeah. That's the most important part. We drove part. it down to uh, Pleasanton, down Good Guys. Oh, wow. Well, it's amazing. It's, we're always in the custom culture. We oh, got, yeah. Everything's been shaved on this ride, chopped. I love yeah. every inch of it. Yeah, it's got 56 Chevy bumpers, four and a half inch chop top. Uh, those are all 54 grill bars, mm -hmm. just extra ones. And it's got 56 Chrysler taillights. Yeah. So 52 Ford headlight rings that are Frenched. So it's great. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And it drives good, so it's always fun. Well, this is the epitome of what our whole channel is all about. Thank you yeah. so much for bringing it today, man. Well, I got 12 others, so. And thank you for letting Lola take a picture. Oh, you. anytime. Pretty girls are always welcome. <laughs> Bossa Nova.